Hello everybody, this is Alex Bivalsic from HowToDoTech.com and this is going to be a video about the stock panorama feature in Android 4.1. In 4.2, this feature has been changed with Photosphere, a technique used in a lot of Google Maps. However, most phones don't have Android 4.2 at the moment, so we found that this would probably still benefit the masses. So now that I've opened the stock camera app, I'm going to go to Panorama right there. And I'm just going to demonstrate to you how to use this. Your phone does have to be in landscape mode. And um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start tilting my phone to the left. And then I'm going to hit this wonderful green button. I'm going to move to the right. And the way to look at this is you want the image behind to line up with the image in front. So that looks like a continuous line. If it doesn't, you're probably doing something wrong. The smoother this is, the better the final picture will look. But um, it is something that you really need to get used to. And with the way I'm holding this, it's not exactly easy. When you're done, hit the green button again to stop. And it's going to show a preview of what the panorama looks like after the software has done with it. It's going to look a lot better than when you were taking the panorama. And then if you don't like this, you can just take cancel or you can wait till it saves. So now that you've done this, and I will admit there is a lot of software editing, editing that goes into that. After it's in your camera roll, it's actually going to look even better than the preview. The software does do a large part in refining the picture. However, it's not always perfect, especially because all that you're capturing is this tiny itty bitty little box. So now let's talk about some of the tips and tricks into doing this correctly. And in order to do that, I'm actually going to switch the camera view so that you can see me doing this and not just the phone screen. So here I am in my nice Bazinga shirt and I'm going to be showing you first of all the wrong way to take this panorama. So I'm holding and I'm completely faced to the left because this is where I'm starting. I'm going to end over here on the right. So I'm starting hitting the green button one-handed and then I'm walking to get a nice angle in fact I'm walking around to get a really nice angle hi kids don't move yet finger in the picture that's beautiful and then it's creating the panorama it's not exactly the best in fact there's a lot of um, objects in the way it doesn't look very natural and um, the preview will be showing up on your screen in a sec but really if you were to take a look at this in detail you're gonna have some problems now granted it's not the worst that it could be just like my head going off the screen so it's not the worst that it could be but it's certainly not the best now let's go into the right way of taking a panorama so I'm starting as you've noticed, my body has not moved at all. In fact, my feet are staying planted. I'm just turning my body. I'm going to want to go very slow, try to keep very flat. The best way to phrase this, I guess, is the more that you stay level, the more of a picture you're going to see because the software doesn't have to edit as much out because it wants a continuous picture. If your picture strains a lot, it's going to have to edit part of it out so that it's a straight across linear picture and doesn't start waving around. So this picture looks much better. Again, still not perfect. Like, again, my head going off the screen. I keep stepping forward. So it's still not perfect. There are a couple artifacts still. But there's not things like part of my hand on the screen or a random blur when I started stepping. And you can imagine if I kept stepping instead of just doing it once for demonstration how bad it really could have ended up being so now that it's saved and it did take a little bit longer to save because it was saving more of a picture I'm going to show you the before and afters right now So now that you've seen the before and afters, that is basically how you're going to be using the Android Panorama app. Now there are, because this is Android, there are tons 
of other free apps that you want. If this is good enough for you, why waste your time making this more complicated? It's a very simple app and it does what most people want. But if you are looking for a really nice shot, there are more apps on the Android market. Also, comparing this to iOS, it's definitely, they're definitely different and you might be able to expect a video about that showing up on our channel very, very soon. So please don't forget to like this video and comment at the bottom about, say, a future recommendation or question you have, and then we would, be, we would love to feature that in a video. We really would just love some suggestions. And then don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates coming out soon. Um, every tutorial we do has a video, so you will certainly be kept informed by subscribing to the channel. If you'd like something to refer back to, because I know this kind of was um, a lot in a short amount of time, there is an article down below that will take you to howtodotech.com's article about this. And don't forget to check out more awesome tutorials at howtodotech.com. So I am Alex Bavalsik, and I really hope you've enjoyed this video.